Hey kids! Here comes... Let's play Super Mario Infinity 2 The Cursed Gem with Miles Luigi. Today we're going to tackle on the third level in Machine Mountain, cleverly titled Machine Mountain 3. <laughs> Sadly, Chunk Error does not have alliteration. This is going to be a vertical level, isn't it? Look at that. It makes me wonder. Bring the feather, fly up there. I wonder if we can fly up to the ledge. I wonder if there's a star chunk up on that ledge. Um, anyway. Open edge here? Open edge? Okay. And fudge. On a brilliant start today, Miles Luigi running right into the bomb. Oh, do we? Okay, okay, okay. Wow, this level does scroll back and forth. Jarringly, yes, this level does scroll back and forth. I guess you, we run to the right. Well, we're on the left side of the screen immediately. There's no time for a transition. We go immediately. Go, go, do it. No, no time for transition. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me catch my breath first, and let me talk about this a little bit. I, ca I can understand limitations of the Super Mario World engine, yes, I completely understand that y you want to have this vertical level where you can scroll from left and right Pac-Man style. Fair enough. Fair enough, it works. It actually works pretty well. And, uh, ooh, what's going on here? I see Birdo. I can pick up and throw the eggs that Birdo fires. Of course, here, I probably wouldn't want to. What are you talking about, I I want to... <laughs> yes, I just can't. Egg. It's a very durable egg, I will say that at the very least. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Anyway, the topic I was trying to talk about was the scrolling of the level from left to right. Which, if we could see the whole screen, there wouldn't be any need for a transition anyway. Because, you know, we can see the whole screen, Mario just appears on the other side of the screen. But here, Mario jarringly, I'm probably going to go to the left, don't I? Mario jarringly, like this, boom! Appears on the other side of the screen. No transition, none at all. I just go... You know, it's like, I teleport! But I obviously didn't teleport, I just made it to the other side of the screen. Well, what I'm trying to say here is we need some kind of transition, otherwise this is a very, very, very jarring thing to happen to the player. So, I understand, Super Mario World Engine, maybe not necessarily program this, this problem was made in 2007, but still, I'm going to bike on it because it is jarring and hard to adjust to. Holy crud, another bird, I'm going to kill that bird with a fire. Flower. Okay. I've only found one star chunk before. Or one star chunk, and that's very, very, very worrying to me. I can't go to the left here because I got that nagging feeling I might have missed something, and if I did miss something, that means I have to go through the level again, or just say F you to this level. My goal is not to pick that up because I already have a Tanuki. Um, Tanuki leaf, I should say. <laughs> okay, let's try this pipe. Cross our fingers, hope to find, hopefully, the proper area of the level. That's a very green sea. LG, lots of LG in that sea? Is that what I'm seeing here? Holy crud, look at these cheap cheeps go. <laughs> Fudge! I, I lost track of Mario because of the invincibility frames and the slowdown, and then I lost track of Mario, and then he just fell into the bottom of this bit, and then he died. That's no good. Holy crud! Fudge! <laughs> Fudge. Fudge. Now we're starting to get closer to the Kaizo Mario side, aren't we? It's not even like this is inherently really difficult, it's just difficult with the cheap... I think I saw the end of the level, and I've only gotten a single Star Trunk. This might be the level where I say F you to the Star Trunk, it's because I've only found one! Yeah, but before we do... Whoops. There is a left side that I have yet to explore. Why don't we explore that left side? Shall we? Come on, kids, here we... Am I not able to go back? Wow! Wow! Just like a diode, I was unable to go back in the level, and I would have to restart the level if I did not have my awesome space-time rewind. Let's use our awesome space-time rewind to undo that. Here we go. Over here, there we go. That's what I'm trying to find. Slow down. Why is it really slow? There isn't a lot on the screen. Why is there slow down here? Okay. Holy crud. It looks like we're in a similar area as we were on the right, except there were more enemies and stuff. It's like we went to that one path, we found cheap cheeps of hell, and here we find the land enemies of hell. Same LG screen. This platform is not drawn correctly. There are parts of it missing, and I'm gonna go flying! Whee! Holy crud! I flew into the wall so hard I died! <laughs> Let's do that again! Okay, what about this one? <laughs> I'm 
sorry, it's just so much fun flying into the wall, dying. Just Okay, that time it fell in the bottom, but that, that was very really funny to me. Oh, it's gonna be a fun one to edit. This one's gonna blast me forward, isn't it? Yep, and down. I'm having so much fun on these things that instant play kill me. Kill me! <laughs> oh, there's part of this platform here that's missing. I am literally standing on something that is not drawn correctly. I can also say I am literally standing on nothing. Mario is levitating. Mario can levitate. That would explain why he can jump so high, too. Because he has master control over gravity! Either that, or he just has really, really, really strong legs. <laughs> but that doesn't explain levitation. I just contradicted myself. Fudge. And these are gonna... I went right through! I went through the block! Wow! Okay, these would be really, really awesome in TAS World, Two Assistant Speedrun World, because we could use these things really blast, blast, blast away, and... Okay, fuck this level and its star trinkets. We're gonna collect them at a different level. Because I don't like this level. Yeah, I said that. This level we're ignoring. I only found three. No, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. With that, I think we have the ghost house next. Indeed we do. With the really, really funky, nonsensical pathing. Yeah, anyway, Luigi, no one likes you. You just stick there. Yeah, that's right. Just sit down and look at the sea from the machine mountain. With that, we're going to go into a machine ghost house, which is kind of interesting. You know, spooky ghosts and... This doesn't look like a machine at all! It just looks like your standard ghost house you find in the Donut Plains or the Chocolate Island! With that inside, it looks like a normal ghost house still. There is nothing machine about this world. I'm just gonna say that right now, unless I misunderstood what the word machine is being used in this context, but I don't think I am. I think I'm honestly telling the truth here. There's nothing machine about this world. This is just World 4. You are now in World 4. There's nothing machine about this. This is just World 4. Fudge. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Anyway, let's go ahead and find our way around this ghost house. I'm, I'm gonna find it really silly that this ghost house is gonna be easier to find all the star trinkets in than that last level. That last level was not a good level. This is a maze, though. And because I can only see little teeny weeny little bits in the maze, it's difficult for me to navigate through this maze. <laughs> I've got a feeling we're gonna go through doors here, too, because you can clearly see there is no way inside that little enclosure there, but there's a door implying that maybe... Maybe there's two mazes, and we shift and shaft through the mazes, where different paths open and close as we shift and shaft through the mazes. I am right! We just shifted and shafted through the maze! Now we shift and shaft through the maze back, and we can collect the star trinket. Boom! Yes! I are smart. Anyway, shift and shaft our way through the maze. Now, this things get interesting. Sadly, for the video commentary, I gotta say, we're shifting and shafting through mazes. What am I supposed to say? We are shifting and shafting through mazes. I've already said everything that needs to be said. This is the part where everyone in the audience is expecting you to make funny noises, Miles Luigi. <laughs> Fudge. Well, at least I found a star trinket. <laughs> I'm going to connect to a couple of IRC channels over here. People are talking about Stephen Colbert. It's not really a topic I can talk about too much on, though. I'm not going to start in any political jack, even though Stephen Colbert is a comedian. Curses. Shake fist. Nothing to talk. P-Switch. There, there's something to talk about. I have a P-Switch. P-Switch, P-Switch, P-Switch. Hmm. I could use that P-switch to access that door down there, however, if I enter any door with the P-switch, I will be unable to, you know, keep the P-switch. That's just how the Super Mario World engine works. Have you ever entered a door with a P-switch while playing Super Mario World or a ROM hack? You wanna know what happens to that P-switch? It mysteriously vanishes into the ether! It's completely gone, as if it never existed. <laughs> It's not even like it has a chance to appear, and a chance to not appear. It's not Schrodinger's P-Switch, it is It Disappears When You Go Through The Door P-Switch. 
and it literally just disappears to the ether. There's no other explanation for it. For until you, you know, we get a really, 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 really smart scientist to tell me that that piece which X gets transformed completely into nothing but blinding energy that's used to power the transitions between the rooms. Holy moly, fudge! That's right. When you bring a P switch to the door, it is the P switch that powers the transition, which then begs the question: What powers the transitions in between rooms when you don't have a P switch? Hmm, that's one to ponder on. Okay, we need to wait. Okay, good. No need to wait when we have fast forward. So yes, the screen transition where everything goes all pixely and stuff. Hmm, you say it's powered by the P switch when you have a P switch. But very clearly, we're going through doors when we don't have P switches, which then begs the question: What is it powered by when we don't have a P switch? Is Mario giving up power? I don't know. Maybe. We're in a ghost house, and doors tend to appear in ghost house, so you could say it is powered by the ghosts. That is another plausible explanation. Maybe. Maybe it's powered by shrooms. Lots of shrooms. Maybe. Well, we're out of the maze. I see stuff up here that I kind of want. Ooh, 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 Super Mario World Instincts activate. I don't know if this is the correct way, but we're gonna get up here by doing this. Yes, don't care. Take and hit. Yes, I just skip through your level properly. Probably, I should say. What does this get me? A mushroom and a bitter upper path where I skipped a lot of the fudge. Well, while we're down here, let's see if I missed anything. Probably not. A really bitter upper path. Okay, I have a feeling we're supposed to come into this, like, this way. This is the normal way we're supposed to get up here, probably, which means there is probably something fudge. Over here... What did I run into? There's something probably over here, is what I'm trying to say, but I'm not seeing anything over there. Yeah, nothing. Let's just load stain. <laughs> we are really, really, really jumping around space and time, everyone. Can you even follow what's going along? I'm, I'm jarring you just as bad as a vertical level was last jar. Boom, we're over here now. Boom, we're over here now. Boom, we are over here now. We are flying all over the place. Okay, now we're on top of the level. I'm going to run all the way left. State zero saved. Fast forward. Because there's no timeline, I don't have to worry about that wasting any time. I'm surprised I didn't fall off the stage and die, but what is over here? Nothing. I probably need a new piece switch over here, possibly. Or maybe I picked up a star trinket? I wasn't paying attention to my star trinket account. Anyway, fast forward. And states Jose. Fast forward. Fudge, I died! Here we go. Oh, I almost fell right into his bike. That would have been very, very, very bad. I would have lost my mushroom power. Holy crud. Kaizo Mario platforming! I jumped onto a spike and got hurt. It's a good thing I had a okay mushroom. And yes, see the star trinkets in the ghost house, which is supposed to be the stupid maze level, was easier to find than the previous level. What kind of bullshit is that, Fudge? I'm having too much fun here. Okay, we are today, kids. We are going to get five points, no matter how many times it tries. Points for trying. Oh, Fudge! I just got my five. Keep that five. Okay, let's brush off all those failures I just had, because surely I had a lot. That was all a really lousy performance. Brush, brush them off, brush them off, brush them off. And that brings us to Machine Molten 4, which we'll do on the next episode of Let's Face Infinity 2, the Cursed Gem. This has been Miles Luigi.